um, your new mindset. Uh, you like mindset? <laughs> yeah. The mindset so, my new, my new so, course, the Mindset Accelerator. Yeah, yes, your, it's awesome. Your course. So I'm very excited to hear about it. Um, we'll <laughs> to send this to Team Boom and Team Liberation Nation um, and take it away. I'm going to have- Awesome. Okay. All right. I will try to keep this to the 30 minutes, but I can't make any promises. It's usually yeah, no, around 45 do minutes. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, hey, so I am so excited to be here. Thanks so much, Annie, for having me on. I am pumped. I hope that you guys are really ready for an awesome training. And I hope you have your pens out. I hope you have your notebooks out. And I really want you to be able to get as mo like as much as you can out of this training. So <laughs> Try to be fully present, like take your little picture right now if you want on your phone, put it down, get your pens out, get your notebooks out because you're going to take a lot of notes and we're going to move kind of quickly here. But um, I'm Kathy Reuter and I'm going to dive right in here because today's call, we're going to really talk about, and this is going to be one of probably the, one of the most important calls that you will ever listen to because it's truly going to change the way that you think going to really truly change the way that you think. So our call is going to be all about using the pain of the failure to create greatness in your business and in your life so that you can go on to create that six-figure business that you've been really wanting to build. So just a quick little introduction about who I am. I'm a mom of three. I live in Florida. My kids are ages 10, nine, and three and a half. Um, I'm a mindset coach. I'm the creator of the Mindset Accelerator Program, which is my signature program. I'm the host of the Do Life Big podcast. We have episodes that drop every Monday morning, 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, also the author of an interactive children's book called I Can Do This and So Much More. And I also went from $35,000 worth of credit card debt onto building a multi six-figure network marketing business with body. Now, now body before beach body. Um, so, you know, it's easy to start with all these kinds of accolades and look at all the things that the person has done. Look at all the things that the people, you know, this person has achieved all that. But, you know, it didn't start this way with all this success. So let me just give you a little bit of background here. I went to school to become a teacher. Uh, that was a long time ago now, but I got my master's degree in special education and I went to school teacher before I had kids. Like I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I went on, I became a teacher. I did that for about 10 years, resigned about 11 years ago. Now my son's going to be, my firstborn is going to be 11 coming up in a couple months. So I resigned about 11 years ago. And when I did that, things really quickly took a turn for for the worse in terms of our financial situation because we were living off of the one income. You know, we had dwindled down to nothing in our savings account uh, because we were living off of one income. We actually were sinking by $1,000 every single month. We had racked up $35,000 worth of credit card debt. Uh, my husband was doing multiple jobs. I was tutoring still during the week just to make ends meet, and it wasn't happening. And that was where I was at the first crossroads in my life right there, where it was either find a way to make it happen to keep being home with the kids or go back to your teaching career. And honestly, that's when my coach at the time told me about Beachbody, and I immediately signed up. I'm just going to, you know, not going to go into too much detail about that, but I dove right in. And the thing is, guys, is that when I started that business, even though on paper, if you looked at it, you would have never thought someone like myself would have achieved and gone on to build a business like that. You wouldn't have because I had everything going against me. I didn't have the money. I, I didn't know anything about business. I didn't use social media. I was overweight. People didn't believe in me. I had a super skeptical husband, you know, but I was also in a complete state of desperation. And I was also operating at a level with extreme belief and confidence. And guys, belief and confidence is everything, everything in life. When you are trying to build a business, it's your confidence, it's your belief, it's your energy. And I had that before I even started, because I remember looking at other people in the industry and I saw them freaking crushing it. And I said, hey, you know what? Well, what the hell? If they can do it, then I can do it too. And so when I came in, you know, nine years ago now at the time, I went balls to the wall, right? Head down, super intentional. And yes, went on to build a six-figure business in my first 11 months of doing this. And that's when life started to really drastically change for us and our family. But what's important here to note about this whole thing here was that when I started out, you know what? I had extreme belief and confidence in myself. I had 
excitement. I felt fulfilled. I had energy. I truly loved what I was doing. It never, ever, ever felt like work to me. Things seemed easy. It seemed effortless, right? And I always felt energized by it. It never felt like work. But then things started to kind of take a turn downward. So here's where the downward spiral started to happen. And this is where it gets really important here with the way that my mind was changing and the thoughts that I was thinking, because it's your thoughts in your mind that really create your outcome. And so things started to take a turn for worse, where I started to kind of lose that belief in myself because our team had shot up to this really high rank. Okay. And then quickly after it was just one roadblock after the next, people started to quit. They started to lose belief in themselves. They started to think like this wasn't really the path for them. And it was just one thing after the next. Have you ever had that happen in your business where it's like, oh my gosh, I just can't seem to, I just can't seem to get ahead, right? And when people started losing that belief in themselves and they started to quit and we started hitting all these roadblocks, the mistake I made was that I made this big, huge BS story in my mind, which I know was BS at the time. And I actually, and I actually believed the BS story that I was creating and putting in my mind. And I didn't realize that it was all just made up by me, but I believed it all. And I gave myself and planted my, this story in my mind that I wasn't really cut out for this. I'm not really meant to go as far as I'm going to go. I don't really have what it takes to build a business on my dreams, that I wasn't a successful entrepreneur. And I couldn't understand now when I was going through this phase, why it seemed so hard for me, even though I was working my ass off and I was giving it everything I got, like I was working so much and it just looked easier to other people, right? How many times have you done that? where you've looked at external circumstances and things that have happened in your business that they really had nothing to do with you. And you know, you had no control over it, but yet we take the responsibility and the blame for it. And then we make it mean something negative about us. Or we look around and we think, why the heck is it so much easier for everyone else? And it's not that easy for me, but I'm doing all the work, right? I'm sure you can relate to that. And here's the thing. I didn't realize, like I said, the story in my head I was creating was BS. I believed it all. And this is the mistake that most entrepreneurs make, okay? You have these limiting beliefs, and then you believe these thoughts. You believe them to be true. And they were in my head, guys, and they were stuck, kept me there, stuck for a few years, right? I was so stressed out about this. It's exactly why I created, went on to create my Mindset Accelerator program, because I never, ever, ever wanted any other online entrepreneur or any other network marketer to go through that long period of pain and stress of feeling like they weren't enough or that they weren't cut out to really go on to achieve the goals that they were meant to achieve. Or even worse, I didn't want to see another online entrepreneur in the same industry give up on their dreams and just quit because it doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't need to be that way. You know that deep down you're meant for so much more, don't you? You know that, you know, you're meant for so much more, but a common mistake that most entrepreneurs make is that they spend all this time looking for outside things to grow their income, right? When things aren't progressing the way that they want to, they fail to look within. They always look externally, right? They dig into more personal development. They sign up and enroll in more business trainings, more courses, things like that. But none of that works until you've mastered the internal mindset piece. Doing personal development is awesome. It's great. I am not saying that you shouldn't do it. You absolutely 100% should. But you also can't study and learn your way to success. If nothing changes, nothing changes, right? So when I was going through this downward spiral, guys, and things weren't happening as fast as I wanted them to, my mind was filled with some of these limiting beliefs that started to creep in. And this is what happens with most people is because the tricky thing with limiting beliefs, this is where it gets tricky, is that you can't see them. You cannot see your limiting beliefs. And a lot of times you don't even know what yours are because you have blind spots and you don't know what they are. You don't know what's holding you back, but you know something's holding you back. You know something's there. You know you're not really living up to your true potential. What is it? What's that chain that's really holding me back? But you just can't seem to pinpoint it, right? 
And for me, I had that little bit of self-doubt creeping in. I had that fear keeping me stuck to really go big again. That feeling like I wasn't as good as I thought I was. And I didn't really have what it took to go as far as I had envisioned with that business. And I was telling myself all of these lies. And we do this to ourselves all the time. And I was sabotaging my future success. And I was feeling like crap about myself all the time. Right? And, you know, the thing is, is that it is at the end of the day, you can be taking all the action in the world that you want to produce the result that you're going for. But at the end of the day, it's your thoughts that create your results. It is your thoughts that create your results. Write that down. It is so true. So I was stuck with no growth, even though I was working so much on my business every single day. And I had lost that belief in me, right? But how are you ever going to be able to really create that success that you want if you don't believe that you're capable of doing it. So when your mind is really programmed for just mediocrity and survival and for failure or for fear, when it's programmed that way, you do things like dive into personal development. You do that to keep you busy and you subconsciously do those things and use those things as a way to stay in your comfort zone. And what's even scarier guys is that if you really don't truly learn how to fix this way of limited thinking, and reprogram the way that you think so that you can think like these other high-performing entrepreneurs that you know who you look up to, right? It leads to a lot of regret and disappointment and guilt, low self-esteem, a lack of confidence. And we don't want that, right? We definitely don't want to go down that path, been there, done that. Most times people don't even know, like I said, what their limiting beliefs are. But for example, if like you're nervous to invite or so you just avoid it or you don't even post on social media because you're just nervous about what people are going to think about you, or you're worried that people will think that you're being salesy, or you don't set goals. Or then when you do set goals, they're just safe goals. It's nothing any, it's not like a big, scary dream, big goal. Or you're someone who never talks about the business or what you're promoting. And each time you sit down to work, you open up your laptop and you're just filled with like this wave of anxiety because it scares the crap out of you. And you spend half your time just scrolling and looking at what everybody else is doing. And then you finally do decide to send an invite and reach out and connect with people, right? And you immediately run away from the screen thinking, oh my God, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna do when they actually see the message? What if they don't respond? And then you see that they've actually responded, they actually have seen the message, but they haven't responded. And guess what? What do you do then? You make that situation mean something negative. They've seen the message, see? Should have never even reached out. That was stupid. I knew that this person wouldn't want to do this. I shouldn't have even bothered wasting my time. That was dumb, right? You make it mean something negative. You tend to procrastinate or you tend to get stuck in this perfectionism trap all the time, right? Before you even take action, right? You believe that maybe you need to be earning a certain amount of money before you can even talk about the business. Like you don't feel worthy enough to be able to talk about the business with people because you're not making that income yet. All of these are just some some common examples of limiting beliefs that my students currently and from the past have shared with me. And I'm sure you can relate to some of them, but the fastest way to get to that success that you want is to be able to identify what your specific limiting beliefs are and be able to not just identify them, but be able to silence them on the spot, right? So here's the thing though, when things don't go as planned, we know nothing ever goes as planned, right? In our business in life, right? Constantly. We spend all this time creating these negative stories for outcomes that haven't even happened yet. And it's all made up with you. Now write this down, all right? The only limitations we face are the ones that we place upon ourselves. The only limitations we face are the ones that we place upon ourselves. And here's what happened to me as I started to go down this downward spiral. I figured that if I just kept working hard, if I just kept doing all the darn things, if I just kept being teachable, that I would push through and I would succeed. If I just kept being consistent, like I just kept saying that, just keep being consistent. I was going through all the motions, guys. I was working so hard. I was staying up late every single night. I was busy doing all the things. I was getting on all the calls. I was listening to all the PD, doing all the income producing activities and thinking, what the hell is going on? Why is my business not growing to the level that I want it to? I should be so much further along, but I'm not. I'm totally plateaued. And guys, I felt so burnt out when I was going through this whole phase. I was so burnt out. I was exhausted. I was stressed out. And I just felt overwhelmed. And like the weight of the world of this business was on my shoulders. 
And my business at this time, when I was in this downward spiral, literally felt nothing more than a chore to me. And it felt forced every single day. And I hated it, right? How many of you can relate to that? Maybe you're going through that now. Maybe you went through this before. It's not a good feeling. But listen, the moment that I chose to tell myself a different story and uncover what my limiting belief was, which at the time, my limiting belief was, if I fail, that means I'm a failure. But the minute I chose to realize and figure out what it is and work through that and change my thoughts and focus on my self-belief, my self-worth as a daily habit, that is the moment that things started to change for me in my business. Because you need to be able to, number one, you need to be able to determine what it really is that's holding you back. Like what is preventing you from reaching your full potential? What is that limiting belief? What is that negative thought? You need to then catch it on the spot and then be able to silence it and flip it around to a more positive self-serving belief that's going to propel you and pull you to go toward the vision that you have. So it doesn't feel forced. It's the fastest way to the success that you want. But here's the problem with what we hear today about what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. We are literally taught that if we just, and I remember hearing this, if we just hustle, just hustle, work more, work longer, be here in a year, 10X what you're doing, take time away from your family, get the nanny so you can work on the business, that we will eventually get the results and that six figure or beyond business is going to all of a sudden appear and then when you do actually have that happen, you will finally be happy. But none of that is true, guys, because you can be taking all the right actions and be busy working and be the hardest worker in the room and still not produce the income you want or be growing your business if the mindset component isn't resolved, right? I'm living proof of that. And maybe you can relate in some way too. And now you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, how the heck is this even possible? How is it possible that you can do all the right actions spend all of this time actually working, being busy doing the things and not grow your income. And it's because your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts create feelings, all right? And then your feelings cause you to either take action or to not take any action at all. And then that action or inaction solidifies your beliefs and then the cycle repeats and it goes on and on and on. Your success is 90% mindset and the rest is action. And we would have so many more successful online entrepreneurs if this were the focus, if their focus was on this mindset piece first and then the action, right? And at the end of the day, all these other high performing entrepreneurs that you look up to and you see these days, they, their success lies in their ability to be able to recognize what theirs are what their limiting beliefs are. And they know how to catch them and shatter them on the spot. So they continue to get the results that they want in their business. So they don't go backwards ever, or they don't plateau ever. And then they also recognize that failures don't mean that they are the failure, right? People at this level, they understand that in order to get to the level that they want to go to or the level that they want to grow to, they have to go through these failures so that they can learn what they need to learn so that they can become the kind of person who can go on to build this kind of business that they're envisioning. The failures are far more important than the successes. And that was something that I had on the hard way, right? So it's this mastery mindset piece that is the most important indicator of your success. And for a while, and I'm sure you guys can relate, the limiting beliefs had got me stuck and they had me paralyzed with where I was going, right? How many of you are feeling like that right now? You can type it in the chat if you feel like you just feel like something's holding you back or maybe you felt like that before, right? Something is just, it's holding me back. You truly want to succeed. You want to be successful. You have these big dreams that you want to achieve, but you're playing it safe. Maybe you feel like there's that little chain holding you back or maybe you came into the new year and you didn't really set any goals for yourself. And if you did, they weren't big goals because you were you were just scared. You thought that you were going to fail. You weren't going to actually reach them. So you didn't even bother going that far. You just set safe goals that you know you could achieve. Maybe you had all this motivation, right? At the beginning of the year, but now you're in this analysis paralysis mode right? where you haven't really done anything. Or you're, now you're starting to question, like, do I even really have what it takes to really go as far as I wanted to go? But this is really important right here, guys, okay? Because whatever has happened in your past, it doesn't matter. Whatever has happened in your past, it doesn't matter how many times you've failed. It doesn't matter what you've gone through, divorce, bankruptcy, failure after failure. It doesn't dictate the future success of your life. None of it does. It doesn't dictate it. But most people, they look to their past as an indicator of what they're capable of, of doing and what they're capable of achieving. And this is what we need to fix once and for all, right? And you know what? Maybe you're a brand new entrepreneur, maybe you're brand new to the team, 
and you're like fast tracking your success like I did way back in the day. And you're thinking, I don't struggle with this, but trust me, this happens to every single entrepreneur. There's no one that's exempt from it. Okay. So I want you guys to just type this in the chat right here, right now. What is that one big goal that you have in your business? Cause we're going to use this for in a couple minutes down later in the call here. What's that one big goal that you have in your business that if you know it actually happened would change the game for you and your family. Right. And if you don't want to share it, it's okay, but try to participate and why or write it down for yourself anyways. You don't have to share it if you're if you're nervous to share it. It's a safe place here. But if you feel nervous, write it down in your own notebook. What's that one big goal that you know that if you actually achieved it, it would really change the game for you and your family? The second piece of that is, why is that goal important to you? Like, why is it so important that you actually achieve that goal? And then what do you feel is preventing you from reaching that goal? Why hasn't it happened yet? What's that top reason why you aren't there yet? Now, I remember, guys, the day that I actually had my epiphany when I was going through this whole stuck phase, right? And I had this major breakthrough. And I think I might have shared this way back in the day when this first happened uh, on your call, Annie. Um, but I remember I was literally up in Massachusetts. I was walking around the field. I was listening to personal development. I was listening to James Wedmore, the Mind Your Business podcast. And he had on um, a guest speaker. His name was Jim Fortin. And he said one line that went on to change my life and would then help me go on to change thousands of other lives later too. And I didn't know it at the time, but he said this one line and write it down so you can remember it. You are the thinker of your thoughts. And when he said that, you know, it was an immediate light bulb moment. It immediately clicked for me. That's when I realized that, oh my God, I've actually been putting all these negative thoughts in my mind all this time. And I didn't even realize that I was doing it. Like how many times do we do this? right? My entire life, guys, my mind was always programmed to view failure as a negative thing. And I didn't know it. It was programmed to look at it as a bad thing. And it was, an, it was, my mind was just programmed to view these failures as me being the failure, me not being good enough, right? Instead of just looking at whatever was happening in life or in business as just neutral, it is what it is. Let's deal with it and keep working through it. And I was giving my power and my control away to all these external circumstances all the time, every time it didn't go the way that I had planned right? And it's not possible to have long-term success in your business if your mind is wired that way. It's just, it's just not, it's never going to happen, right? So that's why we need to reprogram the way that we think so that we can have more success, right? And some people think, hey, you know what? I just am who I am. This is how I think. This is how I am. I can't change. It's never going to change. It's who I am, but it's not true. Yes, you can change the way that you think, change your life. It's a total fact. And one of the things that kept happening, and maybe you find yourself doing this too sometimes, I know it's a real industry where you all of a sudden start to fall into this achievement trap, right? Where the only times I really felt like I was successful or worthy was when I was achieving and accomplishing something, getting recognized for something. So I was on this chase to just achieve, 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 check off the next box just so I could have that feeling of worthiness, which never laughed last. So I just kept on chasing, chasing, chasing next rank, next income goal, whatever it was. And it was so exhausting, right? Success and money don't lead to fulfillment and happiness. It's the other way around. Achievement without fulfillment is failure. That hit home for me when I heard that years ago, achievement without fulfillment is failure. And I was just stuck. And I just knew that I was meant for so much more. And I know that you know that deep down you're meant for so much more too. But sometimes we get stuck in this, we're just going through the motions. Maybe I'm just not really gonna go all that way. Otherwise you wouldn't be here on this call right now, right? If you didn't truly believe that you were meant for so much more and you know that there's so much more potential deep down, but there's something there holding you back, right? So this stuck feeling guys that I had when I was going down this downward spiral, it never went away. It never changed. Even though I was working my butt off doing all the things that I was supposed to be doing, right? I had to really dig deep and change the way that I was thinking, but on like a subconscious level, right? And it's a deep process. It takes a lot of practice, but you can absolutely do it and you can learn it. And it's something that you can master. But then once you do, once you do, just like all these other people that you look up to and other entrepreneurs that you look up to who seem like, oh my God, they are on fire. You are literally unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. It's, it's unbelievable. So all these years later, obviously things are all squared away now. Things are going great. I'm surrounded by successful people. They're helping me push me to become better and better. 
and I'm making more of an impact than I've ever made in my life before. Sure, we have the dream home in Florida and we're in investment properties and all that, things like that. But what's most important is that I've learned to overcome that and I can help other people do that too. And I say all this to show you, not to be like, oh, look what she's done, but to show you so that you really know that if you failed in the past or you aren't where you want to be in your business yet, if you're not, if you're not where you want to be in your business yet, you are 100% capable of it and you're worthy of it and you're deserving of it and it absolutely can happen, but it's critical that you get this mindset piece mastered first. All the business training can come next, but you've got to get the mindset piece mastered first, right? All right, so everybody has it in their mind, right? What that one big goal is that you want. What's that one thing that's been holding you back, right? Keep it in your mind because we're going to use it in just a second here. All these negative stories that we tell ourselves, they hold us back and they're all grounded in scarcity. And the only way to change that piece, and this is key right here, is to change the meaning that you are given to the circumstances and the things that are happening in your life. That's the only way to change it. You need to change the meaning that you're given to those events in your, pa in your past. So I want you to think that big goal that you want to achieve in your business this year, that thing that has been holding you back, I really want you to think about that. And even if you don't do it right this second, do it at the end of the call. Really think about it. Ask yourself these questions. What are you blaming? Who are you blaming for not being there? Are you saying that you don't have enough time, not the right resources? Are you saying people just aren't interested, even though there are plenty of other entrepreneurs in the industry totally crushing it? In every situation that didn't work out the way you had hoped, what lesson did you learn? And instead of blaming your past or blaming yourself or blaming someone else or something else, we need to learn to thank our past guys. And you can make a conscious choice right now, right here today to look for the blessing and to give what you went through a totally new meaning. You can't control what's happened, but you can control what it means to you. Things are not happening to you, right? So write down whatever it is that's been holding you back. What it was that one thing that has been really holding you back? And then I want you to burn it and freaking get rid of it. You've got to get rid of it. You've totally got to rid it from you because until you've done that, you're holding it on, you're holding on to it into your subconscious and you're not letting it go. And if you want to let in and you want to change things, you have to let out. You've got to release it. So you've got to get rid of it. You've got to burn it, <laughs> throw it in the trash, do whatever you need to do with it, but you've got to write it down, let it go. Be honest with yourself. You don't need to show it to anybody. You don't need to show it to me, your coach, or anybody but it's just for you. And then just get rid of it once and for all, because in order to let in, you've let, you've got to let out. Okay. And what if you adopted this belief today, right now, you adopted this new belief that things were happening for you and not to you. Well, that everything is rigged in your favor. That is how I live every single day. I always say that it's all rigged in your favor, right? What if you lived and you adopted that way of thinking right now, right here, it's all rigged in your favor. It's all meant to happen exactly the way it's meant to happen. And what if you stopped making all these situations so wrong and you started making them right? Were they painful? Did they sting? Oh, hell yeah, they did. But my life changed the second I realized that I am the one responsible for every thought that comes into my mind. And when I started looking at those failures and the pain I went through in my past as life lessons and blessings that were there to serve and grow me. And you can do this too, and you can shift your mindset. And this will allow you to go on to become this beacon of hope for so many other people around you. And you will finally be able to break through and create that success that you want in your business and your life. And any goal that you set for yourself, doesn't matter how big it is, you know that you will be able to achieve it. It's just a matter of when, not if, and it will happen so much faster for you. Every single part of your past, guys, is a message. It's a lesson. And you can use those lessons to change your future. But if you don't look at it this way, you're going to continue to have this pain and be stuck. And you're going to continue to keep getting the same result that you, until you've learned the lesson that you needed to learn so that you can go on to build the business you want to build and live the life that you're meant to live. And the longer you keep saying, this shouldn't be happening. The longer you're going to continue to keep pushing away that success in life that you want. Did you ever notice that the lessons in life just keep getting louder and louder until you finally listen? Geez, I, I know, I know what that's like. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you ever noticed that though? And I made that mistake. And I would say things like, oh, you know, I should be so much further along than I am right now. I should be making more money at this point. I should be this, I should be this, I should be at this point. But what I didn't realize was that I was exactly where I needed to be in that moment in my life. 
Nothing in your past has been wasted. And I need to be happy and grateful for right now. You need to be happy and grateful right now for your business with where you are right now and celebrate how far you've come. I needed to honor the entire journey. You need to honor the entire journey, not just the times when things were going great and when things are going awesome, but all of it, the ups, the downs, all of it. Because if you aren't happy and grateful for where you are right now, then you'll never get to where you want to go. And that's like abundance rule 101. So stop making where you are right now so wrong. It's okay. You are exactly where you need to be. It's not an accident that you popped on this call in this mid-afternoon and I'm going over the 30-minute mark here now by five minutes. Hurry up, <laughs> right? It's not an accident. You can change the way that you think, which will literally change everything in your life, right? You'll be way more positive, more confident, happier. You're going to be able to operate from a place of gratitude. You'll be more optimistic with your thoughts that you're thinking. Part of this is all the roadmap to success. And this can be your absolute best year in business and in your life. It doesn't need to be anything like any other year that you've experienced, all right? So just be honest with yourself. Now, as we're in the month of March, right, we're just going into like the week one of March here. And I want you to think about your business and I want you to be honest with yourself. Are you setting your goals in your business coming from a place of fear and lack and worry? Or are you setting goals in your business based on the you that you want to become? Right? Who maybe needs to, you know, after listening to this a little bit, maybe you're like, okay, it's time to level up a little bit. I need to play all out here. I need to raise my standards a little bit. I, I'm setting way too much realistic goals and expectations for myself. It's time to level it up. I'm playing way too small. Who's ready to do that, right? <laughs> maybe you're like, okay, it's time. I need to go. I need to go much bigger, right? I mean, imagine if you really knew that there was no way that you would fail, that your success was 100% inevitable. What would be that thing that you would go after that would change your life, right? Why is that so important to you? We need to stop looking at the past experiences and our failures to determine what goals to set. It's time to stop looking at the past failures as bad things. This is where I went wrong. This is where it kept me stuck for two to three years, guys. And stop making them mean something negative about ourselves. It's simply not true. Just raise your standards. No more realistic goals. Set goals based on who you want to become. Stop playing it safe and setting goals out of fear. Whatever you focus on, you're going to get. Write this down. This is, a, this is good. You want to want to remember this. Realism is the fastest traveled road to mediocrity. Realism is the fastest traveled road to mediocrity. Right? From here on out, you're going to use your failures, guys, to create your best life. You're going to learn from them. You're going to make a conscious decision to look to those failures when things don't go right and look for the lesson that you need to learn and find that lesson. Each time you hit a roadblock, it's there for a reason because you either get what you want or you, you need it. And I became that beacon of hope for others. And I know that you will too, as soon as you start to make this mindset shift, which we're doing this right now on the call, just the beginning of it, right? You can totally reprogram your mind for the six-figure success that you want or whatever that income goal is that you want. Maybe you want to go even higher. Maybe you don't want to do six figures, but you can totally do it. It's the core of what stops people is their limiting beliefs. They cloud your mind and they prevent you from reaching your true potential. And you know you're meant for more, right? You just know it. You can feel it like deep down into your core, but it's that deep inner work that's focused on you. That's got to happen first. So you identified your top goal that you really want to go for. You know why it's important to you, right? That's the most important thing. Not just what looks good on paper. Like, Hey, I want to be able to say I did this, but why is it important to you and your family? And then you also identified what is that one thing that you feel is preventing you from reaching that goal? Right? What was that? Maybe it was you didn't end 2022 the way you wanted to. Why? Why didn't you? What do you think has been holding you back? And that thing that you've identified, you've written down and you're going to freaking burn it <laughs> and you're going to release it so that you can let in some new positive energy and new positive thoughts. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to go to, you can get this. This is totally for free. I created a completely free guide that has um, about 19 to 20 of my students and other online entrepreneurs' top limiting beliefs, what they think, like what that one thought is, and then what you could instead, so that way you are feeling pulled to go towards your vision and excited to go towards your vision instead of paralyzed and crippled with fear. But you can go to kathyreuter.com. I'll type it in the, in the chat, actually. Where the heck is my keyboard? Here it is. It's all covered up with a bunch of junk. <laughs> 
You can go to, let's see here, chat. Here we go. Okay. Kathy Reuter.com slash slash think this, not that. All right. I just put it in the, I just put it in the chat there for you. Kathy Reuter.com slash think this, not that it's really, it's completely free. You can just go, you can snag it right now. It'll be emailed to you. It'll just give you all the common limiting beliefs that, and there's some extra lines in there too, in case your specific one isn't there that you can write down as well. And then what to think instead. Okay. But this is the beginning of the, this is the beginning of the process here, right? But now you need to learn how to be able to do this. You have to make this part of your day-to-day -day habit. You need to start practicing this every single day. Each time that little, I refer to it as your little inner bitch voice comes in and tries to keep you right where you are stuck, safe in your comfort zone, right? Telling you that you can't, you need to be able to catch it on the spot and silence it and then replace it with that self-serving positive belief that's going to propel you to go towards your future. And then it becomes your second nature. It just becomes part of your everyday, you know, think about something that, something that you know now, right? You didn't know the things that you knew now, like a long time ago, it was all new, but you practice, practice, practice. And now it's just, you don't even have to think about it. You know how to do it without even second guessing yourself or it just happens automatically, right? Can you imagine how that would feel at the end of 2023, right guys? If you could literally stand and look yourself in the mirror and whatever that big vision is, that big goal is that you want to achieve, you actually could look in the mirror and say that you actually achieved it. Can you imagine saying like, I can't believe it. I am, you know, a solid six figure or beyond income earning entrepreneur. Like I actually did it or I'm a full time online entrepreneur now, or I'm a present mom who runs a business, but also is there with my kids enjoying all the moments or how awesome would it be able to be able to look in the mirror and say, Hey, I was able to be with my kids and actually be present in the moment while we were playing board games and swimming in the pool, be present in the moment instead of doing those things and physically being there, but you're mentally stressed out and thinking about your business all the time and vice versa. When you're with your business, when you're doing your business, you're stressed out, feeling guilty, feeling like you should be with your kids. When you're with your kids, you're like, oh my God, I have all this work to do. I should be doing my work, right? None of that has to exist. You can do, you can do all the things, right? How much would finally reaching your full potential change the game for you and your family? Can you even imagine like just being able to take your family maybe on that Disney trip or the cruise that you've been postponing for freaking years and you don't even have to worry and stress out about the money, right? But it's not going to be found, reprogram reprogramming your mind isn't going to be able to be found in a book. It's not going to be in PD because PD is great and it's awesome and you absolutely should do PD, but PD keeps you safe instead of really looking behind the curtain and fixing the root of the problem, right? And you also can't reprogram your mind yourself because you have blind spots. We all do. And you can't see them. And it requires you accepting guys. It's going to take decades. This has taken me literally over 10 years to put all of this knowledge together, right? Getting help is not a sign of weakness. There's a process and there's a roadmap and you need to learn it. For things to change, you have to change and you can change. You can change. You can reach all of those. You have what it takes to go to that level that you want to go to right? But if you aren't able to identify what your limiting beliefs are, and you're not able to learn how to shatter them on the spot as they pop up every day, because they do, then all your dreams are going to always be tainted by the beliefs that you currently have. And your current beliefs aren't serving you. They're not serving you right now. You'll constantly be feeling like you're taking two steps forward, three steps back, two steps forward, three steps back, right? Every single successful entrepreneur knows how to do this and all while honoring time with their family and they're what matters most to them in life, right? And this is why someone like you is going to go on and can will go on to succeed so much faster. And you'll be able to succeed in months versus years because you've been able to finally be able to start to break those chains and you're going to start to learn the process. You know, it's not an accident that you're on this call right now. I don't believe in accidents in life, guys. I do believe timing is everything. I've always said this. Timing is everything. Things come into your life for a reason. You didn't decide to pop onto this call today for no reason. Like you're here, right? Maybe you're brand new to this business and you want to fast track your success to six figures. Maybe you're just frustrated because you're not seeing the results that you had hoped to see. Or maybe that fire that you had going into this year has already started to fizzle out. Maybe you're starting to get burnt out and you're exhausted. And you're doing all the things and you're not seeing the growth that you want to see. And you're watching other people on social media thinking 
what the heck? It seems so easy and effortless for them. What is wrong with me? And you're just playing that constant comparison game. This is how I've been able to help thousands of other people reprogram their mind with my mindset accelerator program, right? It doesn't matter if you failed before. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how long you've been in one single business for. It's all about just being able to uncover what's been holding you back stop it on the spot and turn it around so that those beliefs propel you to go toward your future and then ingrain a new positive way of thinking, right? When you silence your limiting beliefs, you become limitless completely. And I've been through guys exactly what you've been through. I know what it takes to build a multi six figure business, but I also know and have felt guys, all the pains and all the stressors that you felt, all the negative thoughts that you're thinking that go through your mind. I have felt them all too. All the self-doubt, I've been there, done that. I've worked my way through it. And now I help other people do it. I've had those thoughts too. You're not alone. We all go through this. I know that stuck feeling, right? Negative self-talk, lack of belief, all that keeps you right where you are. It doesn't have to be this way. It can all be gone, but you've got to work on it, right? And wouldn't it be so nice if you could sit down with your business when you approach it with like confidence and belief and excitement instead of, oh God, I got to work my business. I haven't done haven't done my business activity tracker yet. I have to do the things, right? Can you imagine if you actually approach your business with excitement and enthusiasm? Wouldn't it be nice to know that finally, like your success is just a matter of when and not if, but you were, you were convinced you knew it was going to happen, right? And wouldn't it be so awesome to look at other people as they were succeeding and instead of feeling resentment toward them and feeling anger that you were actually happy for them and you stopped comparing yourself to them? Or how awesome would it feel to actually see your bank account grow month to month instead of dwindling down and you're watching your paychecks come in and that you're getting more and more and you're impacting more and more lives, right? That's what's possible when you reprogram your mind for success, right? So anyways, if this is something that you truly want to master this year, you truly want to just be able to, because we barely obviously scratched the surface in this call. I tried to go so fast. It's 45 minutes. <laughs> So I'm going to wrap it up now, but we barely scratched the surface. But if you feel like, you know what, this is definitely the year where I want to be able to not let anything hold me back. Every year I keep setting the same goals. I'm looking, I'm sick of looking at everybody else being like, what the heck they're doing all these things, living their best life. And what's wrong with me? You know, you really want this to be your year and you don't want to be held back or stuck anymore. And you want to go on to build that six figure business before the year is over or whatever that income goal is that you have then you can check out my program. Annie will post it um, in the team page. It's called uh, the Mindset Accelerator Program. And you can check it all out. You can read up on it. And here's what I'm going to do. Technically, not technically, but technically, yeah. I open the program for enrollment about three to four times a year. So it's not currently open for right now. It's going to be open for enrollment in a couple more weeks. But what I've done is, because Annie, and I love Annie, I've known her forever. I've known the Realmans for so long now. If you decide you want to work with me going forward and you want to be a part of this program, I have set up a 50% promo code that will be good. I just, I just cut the price in half. There's no code. It's just 50% off from now until this Friday night at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So you can go on there. Um, you can just go to kathyreuter.com slash team call. I'll put it in the uh, chat here too, in case you want to pull it up. kathyreuter.com slash team call. Uh, there we go. Right there. You can read all about it. You can get all the info on it. Um, the great thing is, guys, is that uh, it is a 90 day money back guarantee. I do that for everybody. And I also give you lifetime access because I've been a part of so many other like mentorships and programs where you get in and then you don't have it forever, but you'll have access to our private group that is also has a bunch of other online entrepreneurs going after the same big goal as you are. So that's everything. When you're surrounded by people who are like go-getters, you'll be able to be a part of that. You'll be able to have lifetime access. So you'll get the program forever. Lifetime access is also awesome because you'll be getting access to me live in the group two times a month. Um, and then if you decide today that today is the day where I'm going to make a change, I am also giving um, one hour one on one mentorship calls to people who decide that they want to enroll and go on and build their best business, best business today. So 
If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, make sure you snag that kathyroyer.com. Think this, not that document and that guide that I put together because it will truly help you. Um, and even if you even if you don't sign up for the Mindset Accelerator program, I really hope that you got a lot out of this training. You can always tune into my podcast, Do Life Big, every Monday morning, like I said. My short episodes drop. You can check it out. Um, and I hope you get a lot out of the training. And thanks for having me on, Annie. Yeah. 50 well, minutes. I told you, you it would so be much. I told you it'd be 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you a lot. I'm sure there's you leave more, you have so much more in your um, <laughs> yeah. In your when training. you said 30 minutes, I'm like 30 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you can talk. <laughs> yeah, you get amazing. Um, I love how you tied everything. If you guys don't know, she's also a child, a children's book author called I Can Do This and So Much More. Yep. And it is an amazing book. And my kids thanks. absolutely loved it. And Aww, it's like, thanks. why can't we think like kids? And we just had that like endless possibility. So it's like reprogramming the I know. brain. So I'm glad you're know. doing an adult version of that book, basically. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> the adult version of that book, exactly. <laughs> oh Literally. My God. So okay. I'm going to post all the details for everybody. All right. This recording in our groups. And thank you so yeah. much for hopping on. Thank you awesome. guys very thank much. Yes, thanks so much for having me. I hope you guys right. enjoyed it and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Yep. Have an awesome day. Bye, Bye guys. Bye guys.